This Reptiles TV Breeder Spotlight is presented by Missouri, a complete diet for all your exotic animal nutrition needs, including amphibian, cricket, croc, iguana, insectivore, tortoise, and turtle. Missouri is trusted by zoos and professionals around the globe, and it's perfect for your herps too. I am Jeremy Stone from Jeremy Stone Reptiles. Uh, I work with a lot of the boas and ball pythons, and I guess you could call me a boa freak. It's my favorite snake, and we love all the reptiles, but uh, this is a special animal that's taken us a ton of time to work with it. As many people know, the boa constrictors, uh, we started the Motley Boa Project, so it's fun after about 10 years to see all the motleys around here and all the sun glow motleys and stuff to know that, that the original came from an animal I produce. That's what's so much fun about the reptile business is you can start and build your dreams and go up that way. But this is an animal that we've been working with that they're the only, there's only about five of them, six of them in the world. Um, bred the motley to a T positive. And you get motleys that are het T positive, heterozygous for T positive. You breed them back to each other and you get the T positive motley. And it's just a gorgeous animal. And here we have a sunglow motley. This is a hypo motley albino, basically. We call it a sunglow motley. There's three genes in one. It's taken a lot of time to work with this, but every single one looks different. The hypo gene really takes this motley pattern and messes it up, so every single baby that you produce, not one is gonna look the same, even though you can identify the gene. That's why it's really fun to work with. And this is Josh holding a Sun Glow T positive Central American motley. They stay really small. This is a Central American motley. It's different than the Colombian motleys in that they stay a lot smaller. The Central American boas only get about five to six feet as adults. Um, this is also a triple gene. This is a hypo, T positive albino, and a motley. These guys change a ton. From babies, they're, you know, they have a lot more pattern, not quite as much color. They really grow into this color with age. This is almost a breedable size male right here that shows you that how young the centrals and how small the centrals can actually breed. A lot of color in the sides. You can, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can really see the pinks and all the different hues these guys really have in them. We're a couple years away from the ball python morphs because they've got so many more. I'm passionate about boas. They're so much fun. They're a challenging snake to work with, but they're really not that difficult once you get your system down. A lot of people like the smaller mini boas. They're not as colorful, but they're fun once you start putting a lot of genes in there and then you see your work and everybody has different animals. It's just, it's a blast to breed. I think it's a passion. I think it's an, an addiction, but I've got it. How do we find you guys on the web? Boaconstrictor.com. I don't think there's anything better in the reptile world than anything here than a good boa constrictor. That's coming from me. This Reptiles TV Breeder Spotlight is presented by Missouri, a complete diet for all your exotic animal nutrition needs, including amphibian, cricket, croc, iguana, insectivore, tortoise, and turtle. Missouri is trusted by zoos and professionals around the globe, and it's perfect for your herps too.